well, hello. We're doing a review on this Yamaha. Got the new uh, Kenda tires on it. That is not manufactured. Now I should get into the intro. Um, you may have saw Jake did a, a review on his Polaris. Now I'm doing one on the Yamaha. You've probably seen this. I think it gets more views on the shorts than the Polaris. Oh, whatever. Oh, okay, it did by 200. Okay, let's, so, let's, okay. Start, let's start from the back. Oh, I guess we're gonna start from the back. Um, by the way, go watch Wyatt Outdoors. Big help channel. Watch all of our videos. Thank you, Wyatt Outdoors. Okay, let's start off with the back. It's got a cool light. Light. So that's whenever you hit your brakes, light. and when you hit the brakes, it flashes red, or when the lights are on. So you may be asking, what the crap is this for? That's when we pulled an elk out for my dad. We never took it off. See, it has suspension. So look at the suspension real quick. Look at the suspension. I actually, I actually really like the suspension on this thing. But look at, you see the suspension bend? That's oh suspension. Look at the suspension. But anyways. Oh, wait. So what's, um. It's got a pretty simple rack right here. Oh, I is, is this stock? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a nice one. I, I like, I like these like metal bar racks better than the Polaris. Wait, can I say one thing? They're not comfortable to sit on, but they, I think they are better for like putting Ooh, stuff on. Jake, are you telling people they sit on the back rack? Are what? you a deer? No, but I mean like if there's two people, <laughs> yeah, I'm back here. But look, this says never ride as a passenger. They don't need to know that. They don't need to know that. <laughs> okay. Here, let me hold this for a second. Okay, guys, so these are the new Kenda tires we put on it. Not manufactured. We actually took them off. I'll show you the tires later. We did not want them. They're, like, bald. They're really grippy, too. Oh, really? Don't take the camera. That's the Kenda tires. Oh, guys, we're live streaming. Okay, okay. So, yeah. right here, it's missing its four-wheeler hubcap. See, right here, and this one has one. It says Yamaha. Ooh, I just twisted it forward. Yamaha. Okay, people, oh. I hear a lot of people say this. Like, if you go on YouTube, some people call it Yamahas. Yamahas. It's Yamaha. Learn your language. Okay, let's get back with this thing. So, it's a little muddy. It's got hay for farm work. Still. See? Not some stuff. Okay, let's and come up. Let's come to this side. See? This one is missing the hubcap, too. So, only the fronts have it. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's let's talk about the middle right okay, here. Okay, let's talk about oh, wait. four by four. See, it's like your uh, Chevy that you have parts in your lot because you had to sell your Ford because it's a piece of crap. He doesn't really like Fords. I'm sorry if any of you really like Fords. I like Fords. This is not an opinion of our channel. <laughs> My cool little bag girl for Christmas. Let me show the other side, guys. So it connects to this tank, and it's actually pretty nice. You got a cup holder, you got the zip up thing. I have nothing in it. ATV Logic, guys. Go check them out. I don't even know them. Could be sponsors. Uh, see, it's a special edition Kodiak independent suspension. Yeah. See, oh, we're kind of low on fuel. But the really nice thing about the Yamaha is that is a lot better than the Polaris, is they actually have a fuel gauge. So you don't have to look down the gas tank. And guys, what I like about this thing is that that they have a thing on it. So if you run out of gas, you're stranded. Let's yeah, say I'm. All most fuel four wheels have that. Yes. It's the, but, the reserve fuel. So it's a reserve fuel. You have another gallon underneath it. That's pretty nice. See, they messed up on their ratings. They wrote a one on accident. It's actually supposed to be under six. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's get okay, wait. Well, let's talk about the seat. The so, seat is nice, doesn't have a rip like Jake's does. But, Oof. I do think, I, I like the Yamaha seats, it seems like... It's comfier than yours. I, I'm going to actually disagree with you on that one. I think Polaris seats are really comfortable, but I think Yamaha ones are built better. Um, see guys, look, on your old Can-Am that you have, if you do, they have heated grips. I think you can put them on, we don't, we don't put it on. This is, uh, I think... 2007 Yamaha Kodiak 4 Kodiak. Yeah, 450. 450. And um, guys, I like to show something I like about this. 
So let's say you're up in the woods and you wanted to charge your phone. Okay, let's just say we're on charge a battery on something. I think most four wheels have this, but I don't I don't know if mine actually has that. No, yours does on the side, but you gotta plug in stuff. It's a little dusty right now. Let's plug that back in. I don't know why it's unplugged. But see this thing has a nice screen. My Polaris don't have that. Yeah, it tells you your speed. Uh, the clock is wrong, guys. You got your diff lock here. While we have it on, like, you can put it two-wheel drive. It tells you when you're in drive because it has a little four-wheeler. And then, look, if you needed to get into a higher, flip it when that's down. Now, it's in four-wheel drive diff lock. It tells you that by the red light. Right here. Let's put this back. That's so, actually really nice. Now, it's like not. That. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so another thing about this four wheeler is the shifter. So I I don't know. I I like. Do you like the shifter? This is your four wheeler, so. Yeah, I like it. See, so you put to put your foot on the brake. It's sometimes Yamaha. I it, will admit, it will get hard to get into neutral. All the time, guys. A lot of the times, it doesn't say neutral, but it is. But sometimes, guys, you just can't even get it into neutral. Yeah. And it's got a park, which some other four-wheelers I don't think have. Park? Because some four-wheelers, they have a thing right here, and it holds the brake on. Mm -hmm. But luckily this, if you have a four-wheeler like that, you can just put this thing in park, and now it's in park. Um, see, let me turn this off, because I don't want to waste the battery. But, guys, it's got a choke. That means it chokes on, and that means it's not. It's not. So that's how you, like, shut it off so it can't even drive. you got to put it in the middle. These are the lights. They're not on right now. Guys, we will show you the lights eventually. Maybe, maybe in this video. Um, so, that's basically the technology of this thing. It's got two hand brakes. Foot brake. Pretty nice. Yeah, so, oh, let's take it back to Jake. So, um, yeah, the, I, I like the shifter. It's, it's like a manual on a car almost. But it's a lot different than the Polaris that you guys saw. Mine, mine's just forward and back. This is like... And it's on the other side, too. It's You can see the rivets in there. How and guys, I like... just forgot to tell you guys something. Look. Right here. Right there, guys. Look, you don't have to have full battery. You just pull it. You can make it start like that. It's almost like a dirt bike, but dirt bike kick. That's actually really cool. I like see, that. See, some four-wheelers... Well, three-wheelers, guys. I know some three-wheelers that you don't even have to have the battery. Like, right here, it just folds out. You just kick it. That's pretty nice. I wish... I like that, um, things like that have that, like, the new electric dirt bikes. Well, so, see, some dirt bikes, they have electric start, right? But if it doesn't work, you can just kick it. I yeah. like that about everything. Oh, wait. Can I... Well, let me, guys, show you this. This is the hunting rack pull-up pin. I think I said that right. Hopefully. Um... These were not on here. We put them on here, of course. Let me close that. Um, yeah. But, guys, I will say one thing. This thing, you can't probably tell when it's washed. It looks brand new. That's Jake. Yeah. Th but, this... guys, this has actually been rolled. I, I forgot if it was rolled or wrecked, but this thing's been wrecked once by my uncle and aunt. I'm not going to say this. But, special edition. See, you see that big bear? It's going to bite my finger. But... Also, I, I want to say the front end on these Yamahas look amazing. Uh, like, the, the lights look really nice, the grill, the bumper. Uh, I just like the front ends on them. See, look, this is one thing that actually protects these bars is this thing. It's got dirt in it, but, um... Hey, wait, show them. It's the skid plate. Not oh, skid plate. Um, the Yamaha, it has AC to, like, cool the engine down. I think most four of us have that. Our other four-wheeler doesn't, and it just overheats. It's another Yamaha. It's... Did I just say Yamaha? Or did I say Yamaha? Yama Yamaha. Yeah, I said I, Yamaha I don't know. correctly. But, um... Yeah, so... This is the thing. It's got pretty grippy tires. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So, we talked about the tires. Um... Let's... What else does I talk about? Brakes? This thing has a lot of brakes. It has one, two... Three. three breaks. So, like, you can... I think you can press down all those at once. Yeah, probably. Um, now, but, let's get into the fun part. Oh, wait. Well, one more thing. I will say, a lot of people... 
like the reason they don't get like a 450 or 570 because the is because of like the power but i i think these things have really not they don't have a lot of power but it's really all you would really need like as a general Four. use four-wheeler because like this thing this is like what to work it's not no sport it's not a banshee okay I mean, I mean, it can be whatever you want it to be. I mean, you can ride trails with this. You can hunt. You can do farm work. We do and, a little of everything. With this thing. Yeah, and it's been I, actually to the dunes. I think once or twice. Yeah, and another thing you can that oh, I like about it. Oh, what I also it, like is look, they have built-in dune flags. You could tell those have been used. But another thing I like about this thing is, with a lot of four wheelers, you know, like you like it, you sit like down in them more. This thing, it feels like you're sitting on top of it, which I like a lot. I think when Jake was saying he doesn't like the tire, uh, the see, I think it's because a lot of people just get comfortable the one they're on. The True. But, I mean, seat isn't the most important thing on a four-wheeler. Yeah. But, anyways, guys. Uh, let's get to riding this let's thing. Let's get to riding this thing. So guys, so this is a good time to talk about the turning, and I honestly, I really like the turning. You don't really have to like put your arm out like really far, like a dirt bike. You got you kind of have to do that with the Polaris on the Yamaha. Not that, not really. Sorry, the light's going on the camera. Go to the front of the four, guys. Wait, 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 wait. We're in the barn, and it's basically dark. It, other than the flashlight on the phone. Turn them on. Nice. You guys can see the Grizzly 700 right there, guys. That. They look nice. Well, that and right you, there, guys. We need to get that somewhere, and it's a Grizzly 700 Yamaha. Really a nice four wheeler. Uh, when it's it got runs. Big tires on it, too. But yeah, guys, this is high. This is low. I, I I really like the headlights. Uh, it. If I was, if I would, I put a light bar right here, make it just a little brighter. Oh, yeah. guys, thanks for so much for uh, watching this uh, Yamaha review, guys. Sorry, I don't know much about four wheelers.